And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another random champion casual Friday. It's one of my favorite days of the week. We are going to be playing four decks where we're going to be randomly choosing our champion pairings and then we're going to build the decks here on stream and then we're going to play them for y'all on YouTube. I guess you already know what the first one is from just the title of this video, but we're going to see what the others are also. So uh, we've been doing like the random number generator on the phone to determine what the champions are. However, got something new for this week. We have a wheel. I have built a wheel, the Wheel of Champions. So we're gonna click spin this and it'll give us a champion name. So then we'll be able to, we'll use you know two champions, pair them together, build a deck. All right, so we're about to start, but a little bit of warning. It is kind of bright lights whenever a wheel spins. So if you, uh, you know, struggle with uh, bright lights being flashed on the screen. You may want to look away for a little bit, or if you're watching on YouTube, you'll hit the fast forward button. But all right, let's let's have some fun. Let's spin the wheel. Let's see who we will get for our champions. Vladimir. Okay, our first deck already has Vladimir. All right, we know it's going to be great. All right, Vladimir is going to get paired with. Spin the wheel. I wish they had every single like little name on here, but I guess there's there's maybe too many in it, and it can't do that. Okay, with Thresh. All right, Vladimir Thresh. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Hey, what's up, please? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are choosing our random champion combinations for today. We got Miss Fortune as our next one. So we have Vladimir Thresh for our first deck. Who is Miss Fortune going to be playing with? We got Miss Fortune with Lucian. Okay, we can make some scouts. Miss Fortune, Lucian. We can make some scouts there. Not bad, not bad. All right, we've got two good, good champion combinations. They'll be, you know, like we've played Vladimir Thresh before. We've played Miss Fortune, Lucian before. Sivir. Oh, well, we've probably played Sivir with every single other champion back whenever Sivir was it was amazing and Shurima was amazing before some nerfs. All right, so who does Sivir got? Sivir with... Hecarim. Okay, maybe we haven't done Sivir with everybody. <laughs> All right, we're going to have Sivir Hecarim. All right, that's, that's a new one for Sivir. And... We got two more. Spin the wheel. Aphelios. Oh, I love playing Aphelios decks. All right. Who who is Aphelios going to be paired with? <laughs> who we got? LeBlanc. I was not expecting LeBlanc. All right. We got Aphelios LeBlanc. So there's going to be our champion combinations. After spinning the wheel, the wheel of champions, we got our four combinations. We got Vladimir Thresh, Misfortune Lucian, Sivir Hecarim, and Aphelios LeBlanc. All right, let's get to work. Let's build some decks. We'll be right back. Those of y'all on YouTube, we'll be right back with our first one with Vladimir Thresh. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Thresh, our first of the four random champion decks today. Here we go. We got a mid-range deck. That's what we kind of built this as you know, more of a Vladimir deck with Thresh support. Thresh is just a great support champion. So we're building it as a Vladimir deck. We're going to want to see five plus allies survive damage. Um, and, you know, we got some of our crimson cards to, to kind of help support Vladimir in here. But we're going with a mid-range deck that can go bigger. Now we have not only our Vladimir's, but then we also have two Rekindlers to bring Vladimir back. And then Harrowing, two copies of that. Also two copies of Ruination. I think we're in a good Ruination metagame. Um, and people may not be playing around Ruination as we're, you know, putting all these other things in play. And, and they're going wide also. And we can surprise people with the ruination. But our thinking here with harrowing is that harrowing with Vladimir is pretty good. Because if we, let's say we harrowing back and we get, you know, like three Vladimirs in our harrowing. Because we've had like a couple of die and we've had re you rekindled back a Vladimir that died and so on. So we get like, th so, you know, so we have like this combination too. Like we can ruination when our opponent has the attack token and then go back to us. And, um, and then immediately harrowing on like an empty board. 
and you know be able to kill them whenever they can't have enough blockers because because Vladimir will um, you know for for each attacking ally on the right, drain one. So you can like have like three Vladimir's attacking. The first one drains five. The second one drains four. The, the next one drains three. And you know, like that can be a lot of damage that you're just like draining from the enemy nexus. So that could be pretty cool. So that's what we're gonna try. We're gonna try like that combo at the top end and kind of have like a mid rangey Vladimir Thresh deck. So let's go play our five games and let's try out some Vladimir Thresh. All right, so we're playing against Nami. So uh, this is like a, a really good Ruination matchup, right? Because the Nami decks, like Nami just goes crazy. I think I'll just send the rest back. We'll just keep Vladimir because Vladimir cool. Um, Nami will go crazy, and you really need to be able to just kill the Nami and, <laughs> and everything else that it's buffing up. Good. Glad to see that ruination. Okay, so the the best possible thing, like when you, when you're playing a Nami deck, all you want is double trouble. That's all you want. Envios with the Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in for Envios, our second sub of the day. Thank you so much. Last time we played Nami, we only had Double Trouble one time out of the five games. But it's it's the perfect card. So I could see them playing Nami here, or I could see them passing. Unfortunately, I just don't have anything to play this round. I'd never keep my guests racing. No, we're not doing ranked with these. Uh, with the random champion combinations. Yeah, if we go 4-0, we'll do the last one in rank, yep. Wow. Why would the 1-2 not get in front of the 2-1? At the very least. That doesn't make much sense to me. But, all right. <sighs> Obviously, they're going to play other spell, another spell, but is it going to be a burst spell, right? Like, if it's a burst spell, 2, 5, 7, 11. We're looking at taking 11. So it's whether or not I want a Ruination exactly right now. I think I do. Obviously, this could be a little early, but I, I think better safe than sorry. Because especially if they have three burst spells, I'm dead. Ish. They like pill cascade. I obviously still have five mana, but we, you know we got rid of. Cool. Got rid of a lot of attackers. Like those kind of decks, they usually have. Why do they? Do they just have this card in their deck? Was this randomly created by something that I don't know about? One candle for every sun. It certainly had a lot of spells. Alright, how about that? See, I told you that's a great ruination matchup, and, and 
that deck is one of the reasons why Ruination is so good right now. Speaking of good Ruination matchups, <laughs> uh, this looks like one. Of course, they can... Alright, Sentry, Flock... Um, ugh, double Harrowing? It's awkward. So they can Unyielding Spirit. going on here, though? I guess they're playing a lot of Predict, My along with Fiora. Ah! Our hand looks kind of ugly after our mulligan. I have the name. I need the reputation. Double... Double Harrowing? That looks kind of ugly. Alright, I'm gonna just pass here. I like them not doing anything and wasting a mana. And just kind of resetting, going to the next round. Yeah, so Fiora predict deck to like find Fiora and everything, but Piltover and Zon doesn't have protection, but Demacia's got a lot of protection. Remember the objectives. Our hand's gotten a lot better with our last two draws. These were two good draws. So we make one unit right now. This would be us making two units. Make the Empire proud. Okay. Empire seems pretty proud. I long for a worthy opponent. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. Really? Oh god. Alright. I guess we'll take that. That was a surprise. Alright, we got leveled Vlad. My shield is yours. And now our hand looks a lot better. Thanks that that Crimson Curator just really filling our hand up. That helped out quite a bit. J Madarda, let's go. Okay. Not gonna lie, that's pretty sweet. Okay, J Madarda deck. Like this J Madarda actually can like J Madarda can own this game. Like that that card could dominate this game. Imagine they go Unyielding Spirit on it right now. Discover the unknown. Yeah, that card's gonna dominate. Okay. Where are we at? We're at three. For the honor of my house. I think I have to kill that thing. Like, that card's just gonna dominate. I gotta kill that. Just... Yeah, that Jay Minardo, that, that card was super, super scary. War Mason, reporting for duty. No, I mean harrowing, yeah. Like they are they have the attack token. We don't need a harrowing right now. We can um 
For the glory of Noxus. Always two steps ahead. I think we're gonna harrowing here get four things back. So I think we get what, like the the five five thrash, crimson, the three three crimson, curator. Yeah, so the five five comes in and it is a summon. It'll do damage first though before these other things come in. So the crimson curator doesn't get the two damage on it. But yeah, we'll do that now. Yeah, not a bad heroine. Unfortunately, yeah, so the 5-5 five five comes in first. It does damage to these things. It'd be nice if the 5-5 five five dealt one damage all, you know, everything. That'd be good for my Crimson Curator. Alright, so they're at 9 now. You want excitement. Another you Jima Darda? Alright, I challenge you. I don't know why. The Thresh should be last. What am I doing? This should be last because that we'd at least have a leveled up Thresh for future Threshes. Because obviously all these are going to die with the Ephemeral. I, I just wasn't even thinking about that. I was I was thinking about what I'm doing with this Shade Madarda and stuff. Sorry. But yes, the, the correct thing to do is to have this Thresh be last to level up Thresh for future Threshes. Discover the unknown. Okay. This will put him down to two. Pure gets one kill. I think I, I have to kill Jay Madardo. scarier than Fiora. Cool. Hexite Crystal, not so cool. Then if I would have leveled up that Thresh, then the future Thresh is leveled up, so it's putting a Vladimir into play for me. seem like the right time to do that. Like, they could have killed the Spiderling if they wanted to. Because I don't want that Spiderling alive. I guess that's how that works. It's not really any reason to do this. Like, they'd have to have a, a weird judgment. Like, judgment plus... Two out of six. Zero mana plus three plus zero. No, plus four plus zero, and then judgment. Yeah, 
And we are 2-0. Oh. Alright, 2-0. Oh. Vladimir Thresh. Man, that was a scary Jay Madarta deck we faced. Poppy Elites. Poppy is Demacia. Okay, I like this hand. I think Transfusion is, you know, it's a good combat trick to have available against a deck that's all about attacking. This, obviously, this is a just a wonderful Ruination matchup. We're going to find that card. Now, they... They usually do play cards that are good against Ruination, like Fourth Fall and that kind of stuff, but if they don't have it, it'd be a great Ruination matchup. I want to draw Ravenous Flock. I would like to draw Ravenous Flock. No. That is not Ravenous Flock. I'm just stunning the 2 2 because I would like to trade the 3 1 for 3 3 if they would like to attack here. Ravenous Flock. I think if I play Blood Letter and then Sentry Flock, it does mean I don't have two mana to go along with Thresh next round. We have the Blood Letter in, in play anyway. I think I'm attacking here. I have urgent news. I want to trade with their board as much as possible because they have all those all the things, the buff. You can count on me. The more we can trade with their board, the better. I ran as fast as I could. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Sure would. Awesome! That's very good that that happened. Garen and Poppy with Challenger. It's pretty messed up. Curator to go along with the blood letter. That's not good at all. Just how likely is how likely is the sharp sight? Hopefully not that likely. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. I'm gonna give them opportunity to spend two mana again. Yes, okay. I have to kill that thing. Really use ruination still. For king and country. Really use ruination. Take my helmet. Oh. 
But even if we find Ruination, they're doing a lot better than us just card advantage-wise. Um, you know, like, they have four cards in hand besides these four Demacias. Like, they still have a lot of cards over there. All right, team. They have so many champions. Why do they have every champion in the deck? Stand strong! All right, so we have to top tech ruination. No, heroin doesn't really give us anything. Stay resolute. We have to draw ruination here. One mana Crimson Guard? Two mana. Yeah, they gave us another option for Ruination. Courage, soldier. So still have four cards in hand. Ready, hammer? Charge! Hmm. Not the face. Keeping their Garen from leveling up. Alright, I give up. Yep, we tried. <laughs> but unfortunately, I drew every single one of my one mana cards. And a lot of two mana cards, and that's just not going to uh, be able to win against a bunch of Poppies and Garens. I think I think those Poppies and Garens can de be able to defeat one and two mana cards, as we saw. Teemo Caitlyn. Black Spear is awesome in this matchup. I'm not doing anything for a little while. Really hope no Teemo, just pass. At least it's not Teemo. But basically, I want to keep Blackspear and Ravenous Flock because of Caitlyn and Puffcat Peddler. Those are like two really important threats to get rid of. Yeah. That is one Vladimir level up right there. One out of five. Survive damage. Have a mushroom. Have three. Hmm. Alright, get rid of that, that thing. My pretties. Frawl your deck. Freljord has a lot of combat spells, so like, they go Caitlyn plus combat trick here. Nope. I have the play. I need the reputation. I of course wanted them to play one of those because I had the Black Spear enabled. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, it's a good setup. 
I like how our extra card is like down, way down here also. Another day in the field. So if I want to kill Teemo, I need to Demolitionist my own Demolitionist. And then Black Spear. Doesn't sound too bad. If they don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. Vandal Scout Troop Leader, at your service. Well, you're certainly the fuzziest partner I've worked with. All right, set that up pretty good. So they could have saved Caitlyn with the plus one plus two, but they were going for Teemo instead. I'd never keep my guests waiting. Hmm. Nope. Would we'll never do that. Hey, what's up, Divine? The games are going good. Two and one right now with Vladimir Thrash. We uh, spun the Wheel of Champions to get random champion combinations, and so these are our four. Decks for today, Vladimir Thresh, Lucian, Lucian Misfortune, Sivir Hecarim, and Aphelios LeBlanc. Scouts are never afraid. And so then we built each one of those. And they're all, you can see them all there on Mobilitics. And uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun games today. That's what we always do on these random champion uh, casual Fridays. Have a lot of fun games. All right, they really want to keep that Teemo alive. So we're going to be trying to burn them out with Crimson Disciple dealing Nexus damage and Vladimir dealing Nexus damage. We're we'll trying to burn them out. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are. Hmm. Well, I'm glad they didn't do that before attacking. Alright, so if I harrowing we get those four. And then Vladimir attacks does one, two, three, four, five. And then the two Crimson Disciple is 6-7. So that would put him down to t 2. So they have to be able to block everything. Or I can double Crimson Awakener and that, that does 4 each. I think it's probably better to do this. Oh cool! Divine, you're a brand new player? Awesome! Yeah, just figuring out what sort of decks you want to build. That's, that's always important. You know, gotta figure, gotta figure out what what you like, what you like playing. Uh, you like, or it's something that helps you. It's always the question, isn't it? Okay, so here we go. So Vladimir will drain five. I guess it's only going to deal five. It's not going to drain the deck. We won't heal our Nexus. But then also additional two damage there. So that's seven damage. You spoil the surprise? And so they have to get rid of this Demolitionist because that will be lethal. Doesn't look, look like they can do it. Vladimir with the win. Harrowing Vladimir. It's a good combination, right? Because then here, you know, fills your board up with units and you want a full board of units with Vladimir. It's a nice little combination there. Action Lee Sin. Action Lee Sin's a good deck. Let's see. We got our Vladimir again. I'm going to mulligan the two spells. Maybe I should mulligan Vladimir also. I want a 
Cool. One a ravenous flock and one some earlier stuff. All right, we'll take this. So Blitzcrank, yeah, that's a crazy champion name. So Blitzcrank is a robot who hooks people. Yeah, that sounds like a crazy champion. I guess I really shouldn't be doing this. I should... I should do this first before attacking, I guess. Uh. I was gonna say, because if they had twin disciplines for the plus zero, plus three, then I'd have to buy all these and then I could buy all these and attack for additional one point damage. But I guess if they just have that combination. Let's see which one of us is stronger, Akshan. Have we Akshan. met? Alright, so this is looking pretty bad. Robin blind. Busted. Talk is worthless. We are what we do. Leveling up auction on round four. I found my family, my bloodkin. NVS says Blitzcrank is an easy one. Each round he does one damage to a random enemy, and when he levels up, he does two damage and silences. Silence for the round? Okay, yeah. It silence for a round. You must teach me when you have time. I'll think about it. I taste purple. Yay. Man, what a hand they had. Alright, so we'll be going 3 and 2. Nothing wrong with the 3 2. No. Good hand opponent. Our enemies cannot hide. All right, so my lands need me. No spells over here that matter. Carry over. Three and two. Not a bad record for old Vladimir Thresh. Start the day off. Not too bad of a record at all. So we got to see us do some cool, you know, just some cool mid-range stuff with both Vladimir and Thresh, especially with Vladimir. Ruination looked really good. Both of our losses, Ruination would have been amazing to have. Now, obviously, uh, they could have had answers, right? Like the Lee Sin deck could have had Deny. The uh, Demacia deck could have like a four of the fall on to reset their board. But I think that this is a really good Ruination metagame, because if Ruination resolved on either... Like, both of those kind of matches that we lost were games that we really needed Ruination. Vile Feast didn't really look that good. I could see removing Vile Feast even. Like, it, that didn't really seem like a necessary card. Oh, hey, we have Glimpse Beyond. That's a card we never saw. Um, but, you know, like, we just got to do some cool stuff with the Crimson Curators, uh, creating things, and we had our Sentry Flock combo, all that kind of stuff, and... Um, but I liked the Vladimir Rekindler Harrowing, you know, like Harrowing bringing back Vladimir looked pretty good. So there we go. Nice little Vladimir deck. Got a three and two record. We'll take it. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, please leave those comments. Let me know what you think of these, uh, these decks. Hopefully y'all liked this random champion deck with Vladimir and Thresh together. Oh, it just kind of gives you more ideas of different things to do. Um, you know, besides just the the regular meta decks, so I want to do give you give you ideas. So if you're a, a fan of of either of the champions, 
hopefully enjoyed the deck. All right, but that's it for uh, Vladimir Thresh. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.